Hi friends, this is your tech expert Neil and you are watching howisol.com. In today's video, I'll show you how you can easily block adult content on any device. I'll start with Android, then we'll look at iPhone followed by Windows and then how you can apply this setting all throughout the network by using your router. It is very easy to follow the step if you want to protect your children or you want to put a stop to a bad habit or whatever your motivation is. The method that we'll be using to block the real content is using DNS. DNS stands for Domain Name System and we'll be changing the DNS server. The DNS server's role is to look up the IP address for the domain name that you type. So there are certain service providers that provides filtered websites using DNS server. So basically what will happen is when a device requests a domain name that is blacklisted and is present in a adult content section of the DNS server, then the DNS server instead of providing the actual IP address for that website, it will close the connection. This DNS service that we'll be using is provided by Cloudflare. That is the 1.1.1 DNS service. This is the fastest DNS service at present. We'll be using the 1.1.1.3 family DNS service. This not only blocks adult content, but also blocks malware websites. But this service goes a little bit further. It has got tie up with the major internet search engine providers. So it not only blocks the adult content websites directly by blacklisting the sites, but it also automatically turns on the safe search option and it also disables the option to change the safe search setting in the search provider. If you head to Google, the safe search option will be default turned on and it will be mandatory. You cannot change that option and not only Google, but other search providers have also got tie up with this DNS service provider and it automatically detects that a family DNS is, has been set on the network and therefore the search setting is restricted. So it's very easy to set this up. I'll show you step by step. You do not require any technical knowledge to do this. So without wasting much time, let's get started. At first, I'll show you how you can do this at a device per device level. And then in the last way, I'll show you how you can do it at a network level. So let's first do this for an Android device. If you have an Android device, which is running Android OS 9 or above, then you can easily perform this using this settings. Open the settings section for your Android device by swiping on the top once again and then tapping on the spanner icon over here. And then we'll head to the network and internet section over here. And at the bottom, you will see private DNS here. Tap on this and in this, it will be set to automatic. Change it to private DNS provider hostname. Tapping on this and type this DNS private hostname. F A M I L Y dot cloud flare colon DNS dot com and then tap on save. And that's it. It's so easy to block adult content on Android. Now we'll check this out. We'll head to Google and let's type a non safe search and we'll now go to images. And as you can see, the results for this are hidden because safe search is on and over here you can see the safe search setting is not only on but it is locked on that means that you cannot change it apart from this certain websites will also be blocked as you can see it says that the connection has been refused so this service is excellent and it's so easy to set up now if you have got a android device that is older than 9.0 then i'll show you how you can make these changes for that you have to head to again the settings section, click the spanner icon, network, then we'll click on internet and over here in the Wi-Fi network which you are using to connect, click on the setting icon and then on this over here, edit section, tap on this and in advanced option, change IP setting from DHCP to static and in this you'll have to manually provide an IP address. By doing this on certain Wi-Fi networks, your device will not work. So keep that in mind. In older Android devices, that is Android with version less than 9, this is the major drawback that you cannot change the DNS setting without making your IP address static. We have got no other option. If you have got rooted phone, then there are other options. But for a non-rooted device, you'll have to provide a static IP address. So know what IP address currently your device is using on the network 
simply go go in network details and then you will see over here the ip address that it is using make sure to use the same ip address otherwise you will not be able to connect your device so we will copy this the gateway also note down the gateway now we'll type on this we'll go on static we'll tap the same copy ip address in the dns we'll provide the cloudflare dns for family is 1.1.1.3 1 .1 and secondary dns is 1.0.0.3 hit the save icon that is how you turn on adult block in an android device older than 9. this setting does not work on cellular data that is your mobile data if you surf the web using your mobile data then it will not block adult content but if you're using wi-fi then you can block it using this option now let us see how you can do the same thing for an iphone since i do not have an iphone i'll show you through screenshot how it is done so let's head to our desktop and we'll open Google and we'll search change DNS server on iPhone. We'll go in the images section. Over here you can see we have to go in settings, click on the Wi-Fi, then click on the I icon over here and then in DHCP add the DNS server. The DNS server is the same that is 1.1.1.3 and after you make that changes the content filtering will start working so that is how you do it in iphone now let's look at how we can do this in windows to do that simply open search and type in control panel and in this we will look for network and sharing over here and then click on change adapter settings over here and in this select the network adapter that if you are using internet via LAN connection then it would be mentioned as Ethernet. If you are using internet via Wi-Fi then the Wi-Fi adapter will be listed over here. Since I am connecting the internet in this virtual machine using an Ethernet, I will click on this, right click and then click properties. Then over here click on IP internet protocol version 4 and then click properties. And over here you can see obtain DNS server automatically is checked uncheck that and select use the following dns server address so we'll type 1.1.1.3 and for secondary dns 1.0.0.3 click apply and in this we are also have to change the ipv6 address again click properties both the addresses i'll be mentioning down in the video description so you can check that out so i'll copy paste the ipv6 dns server and the secondary dns server you just have to replace the double one with double zero click ok and close and that's it that's how you block adult content on your windows device to block the adult content from all the devices that are using a particular network that is if you have got a router wi-fi router and you want to block adult content on all the devices that are using that particular wi-fi network then you'll have to add this dns server in your router settings and different router manufacturers have different interfaces you'll have to google search how exactly it is to be done for your particular router model i'll show you how you can find that out using google and then i'll show you in my particular router i'm using the geo gigabit internet connection for my wi-fi and i'll show you how you can change it in that let's get started so we'll head to google and in this you have to know your wi-fi router model number or brand so depending on your wi-fi model the query will be change dns server and then followed by your wi-fi router model let's say linksys i'll query for a generic linksys router and then we'll go in images and let's see what all kind of interfaces we get for linksys routers in this particular Linksys router, we can change the DNS server by clicking on connectivity over here. And then in connectivity, we have to click on local network. And in local network under DHCP server, you'll see DNS setting. In this, we'll have to change the DNS setting to the same DNS server addresses. If your router supports both IPv6 as well as IPv4 DNS server, then you have to add the DNS servers for both the IPv6 as well as IPv4. So just type in the ipv4 address and then hit save apply now let's look at asus 
router over here you can see you have to go in van setting and then connect to dns server automatically select no and then in dns server one add the ipv4 dns server address that is 1.1.1.3 and dns server 2 ip address will be 1.0.0.3 then hit the apply button now let's look at tp link okay for tp link the router you have to click on the network subsection and under network you have to then click on van and under van setting click on the checkbox use this dns server and then the primary dns type in 1.1.1.3 in the secondary dns 1.0.0.3 and then click on save and then the router will reboot and after that any devices that are connected to your router will have the adult content block enabled now i'll show you in my particular router which is a geo router to log into your router portal you can again google search how you can get the default login password okay this is my router default page and in this i have to go to network and then in lan and over here we have got ipv4 configuration in this you can see i've already changed the setting ipv4 in dhcp setup i have changed from dns server dns proxy to use below and i've added the filter that is 1.1.3 and 1.0.0.3 so this is the ipv4 configuration then you have to also change it in the ipv6 configuration page over here just tap on this and over here copy paste the dns server for ipv6 after making those changes click on the save button to save the configuration changes I hope friends you like this video. If yes, smack that like button. Share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel HowIsAll.com. We'll be providing more such technology guides, tips and tricks videos in the future. So make sure to press that bell icon to get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching friends. See you later. Bye bye.